Happy Tuesday. Today in math, we are talking about properties of plane shapes. Yesterday, we started to talk about plane shapes. Those are shapes that are flat. When you look at this shape, you know it is a circle. When you look at this shape, you know it is a square. When you look at this shape, you know it is a triangle. And when you look at this shape, you know it is a rectangle. Very good. Those are plane shapes. And today we're going to talk about how they are alike and how they are different. And we're going to talk about, making sure you can see this, sides and corners. When you look at a square, you notice that it has one, two, three, four straight sides. When you look at a triangle, it has one, two, three straight sides. When you look at a rectangle, it has one, two, three, four straight sides. Mrs. Bedard's has a little wobble in it. I didn't draw a very straight line, but most of them will be a straight line. But when you look at a circle, it has no straight sides. Just keeps going around, there's no straight side. Corners are where two straight sides meet. This is a corner, this is a corner, this is a corner, and this is a corner. This is a corner, this is a corner, this is a corner. This is a corner, this is a corner, this is a corner, and this is a corner. It's where two straight sides meet. So let's look at a circle. How many straight sides does it have? Zero. Zero sides and zero corners. How about the square? How many straight sides does it have? One, two, three, four. So four sides. And how many corners does it have? One, two, three, four. Look at the triangle. How many straight sides does it have? One, two, three. And how many corners does it have? Three. How about a rectangle? How many straight sides does it have? Four. And how many corners does it have? Four. Do you understand the difference between a straight side and a corner? A straight side is just one length, but a corner is where two straight sides meet. So make sure you understand the difference between a side and a corner. Mrs. Bedard dropped all her papers, sorry. If you take out your properties of plane shapes, lesson 8-2, we're not going to use the front at all. We're going to turn to the inside. Look at the very top of the page. In the very first box, it says, you can ask questions to help you sort shapes. So if we're trying to decide how shapes are alike and how they are different, we're trying to sort them. Um, we have sorted things by color before, 
we can sort them by shape, which is what we're going to do here. So it's the little turtle says, do these shapes have straight sides? So how about that blue shape? Does that have straight sides? Yes. How about the green one? How about the orangey yellow one? And how about the pink one? Do they all have straight sides? They do. Let's look at the next box of shapes. It says, do these shapes have straight sides? How about that orangey yellow one? The pink one? The blue one? No. So all of the shapes in the first box, we can say they all have straight sides. And the ones in the next box, we can say none of them have straight sides. Look at the third box. Do these shapes have corners? Remember, we talked about corners. Corners are where two straight sides meet. So look at the blue one. Are there corners? Yes. Purple? Yes. Green? Yes. Orange? Yes. Pink? Yes. Look at the last box. Do these shapes have corners? Remember, corner is where two straight sides meet. Does the orange one have any corners? Nope. Pink? Nope. Blue? Nope. So that's how we can determine how they're alike and how they're different. In that first box, they all had straight sides. In the second one, they had no straight sides. In the third one, they had corners. And in the last one, they have no corners. So when you're looking at this page, it's asking you to write the numbers to complete the table. So if you, when you're looking at this shape, how many straight sides? Four. How many corners? Four. Finish the rest. How can you sort plain shapes? Hmm, what did we look at? That would be your answer. And then when you get over here, it tells you to do something. Follow the directions. Do what it asks you to do here. Turn to the back page. Number nine, number 10. And I'd like you to go ahead and do this. It says, write a riddle about a shape. So you can say, it has blank sides, straight sides. It has blank corners. What is it? That would be a great riddle. And see if someone else in your house can um, give you the correct answer. And then the last thing you're going to do is complete your homework. Complete the homework page that it asks you to complete on your lesson plan, which is pages 105 and 106. Take a picture and send them to me. Have fun. I love geometry. I love the shapes. So this will be a really fun uh, two weeks of this unit. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.